Welcome back in geological knowledge. So today we will discuss a very important topic that is the overview of economic minerals and they are very significant for the identification purpose or whenever we see or we gather it from the field. So in the field we have to identify uh, that which type of economic mineral it is and what is the basis of the classification. So the basis of the classification is their properties whether the physical properties, the chemical properties or any distinguishing properties which uh, distinguish from the other minerals. Okay. So they are very important for the exam purpose and for the field, field purpose. When we go into the field, so we have to decide whether this mineral is of that color or the property. So on the basis of the property, they can be distinguished and identified in the field. Okay. So let's start our discussion. And the first one is the native copper. If we talk about the category, so there are some native minerals, native metal, which occur in solidity, means they occur isolated. Okay. In isolation, uh, so native, native metal, they are category. And the, if we talk about the formula, so basic formula is the Cu. Okay. And the crystal system is isometric. If you talk about color, so color may vary. So basic color is pale rose or the on fresh surface. If the surface is fresh, so their color will be pale rose and quickly darkens to copper red in reflected pale rose, reflected light. Okay. So in reflected light, they change their color. That is the property that their color when they are fresh and not weathered so their color will be pale rose or fresh surface and quickly they darkens to the copper red okay so this is the color phenomena the coloring phenomena which are occurring in the copper minerals if we talk about the crystal habit so or the crystal system so they occur in the cubic system or the isometric system and if we talk about the fracture, they occur in the Hadley or jacked fracture. If we talk about hardness, that is 2.5 to 3. Basically, you have to identify the particular ore mineral on the basis of its distinguishing property. Each and each and every mineral has its distinguishing property on the basis of which it has been identified. Okay. These are the basis on which you have to distinguish it from the other ore minerals. Okay. So we talk about the luster. So luster is that is that is metallic. We all know copper is a metal, and its streak is copper red. Okay. Uh, if we talk about specific gravity, so 8.95. Okay. So that is quite high. In so normally it's high 8.95. Okay. And if we talk about their other properties. So when they occur in tubes or the dodecahedra, dodecahedra and as tetrahexahedra, rarely octahedral and complex uh, combinations. Okay. So these are their forms, cubes, cubic form, dodecahedral and as tetrahexahedra. Okay. They are so they also as irregular distortion in twisted, as you see in the figure given here, that they are twisted. Okay wire like shapes or the filiform and absorbent absorbent and massive so these are the uh, key factors from where you can identify they are twisted sometimes they are also irregular as well as distorted or the wire like shape and filiform okay so this is the native copper and their basic properties or the identified properties that on what basis they have been identified another one is cuprite so if we talk about cuprite, so that's an oxide mineral and the formula being Cu2O, cuprous oxide, okay. That is the cuprite, the chemical name is cuprous oxide. And if we talk about the crystal system, so they all occur in cubic form, cubic crystal system. Color we talk about that is dark red to con conchial red, okay sometimes almost black they can be 
एंड क्रिस्टल हैबिट इफ यू टॉक अबाउट सो दैट इज द क्यूबिक और द ऑक्टाहेड्रल एंड डोडेकाहेड्रल क्रिस्टल्स एज हेयर लाइक कैपिलर्स कैपिलरी फॉर्म्स अर दी कॉम्पैक्ट एंड रेगुलर एंड मैसिव ओके सो दे कैन बी कैपिलरी फॉर्म्स अर दी कॉम्पैक्ट रेगुलर ग्रैनुलर एंड द मैसिव टाइप इफ यू टॉक अबाउट क्रिस्टल सिस्टम तो दैट इज द क्यूबिक हेक्साहेड्रल हेक्सा ऑक्टाहेड्रल ओके हेक्सो ऑक्टाहेड्रल क्लेवेस फेयर इन फोर डायरेक्शन फॉर्मिंग द ऑक्टाहेड्रल द फॉर्म इज ऑक्टाहेड्रल सो बेसिकली दे विल फॉर्म ए फोर डायरेक्शन फेयर ओके दैट इज द क्लेवेज इफ यू टॉक अबाउट फ्रैक्चर तो दैट इज द कॉन्क्वाइडल फ्रैक्चर हार्डनेस इज थ्री पॉइंट फाइव टू फोर लेस्चर इज एडमेंटाइन लेस्चर और सब मेटेलिक और अर्दी लेस्चर एंड इफ यू टॉक अबाउट स्ट्रीक सो दैट इज द साइनिंग मेटेलिक ब्राउनिस रेड स्ट्रीक ओके तो समटाइम्स If the mineral or the economic mineral is tough to identify on the basis of color, so that is identify on the basis of streak. So we all know the streak is the powder of the any mineral. Okay, if we crush the powder, if we crush that particular mineral, the powder which is produced, so the color of that powder is known as streak. And specific gravity that is six point one four. Okay. and next one is chalcopyrite chalcopyrite's color is very important that is brass yellow the streak is greenish black okay so as you can see that color of chalcopyrite is brass yellow and when the it's rubbed or it's decomposed or it's broken so the powder is known as streak and that is greenish black luster is metallic cleavage is not well developed that is poor hardness is 3.5 to 4 specific gravity is 4.1 to 4.3 and the diagnostic property is so diagnostic property on the basis of which chalcopyrite is identify these are the color as well as the streak okay and the streak of chalcopyrite is softer than the pyrite okay and if we talk about the uh, chemical composition so chemical composition is cufes2 okay cu fe and s2 crystal system is tetragonal and the uses are an important ore of copper so we all know chalcopyrite is an important ore from where the copper ore is mined that is the chalcopyrite and bornite so bornite color is very important color is copper red or the bronze brown purple okay so you can see in the diagram that the purple or the brown bronze brown purple and if we talk about the chemical formula that is the cu5fes4 okay so in chemical formula basically you have to keep in mind that which type of mineral that is means silicate mineral or the oxide mineral or the carbonate minerals or the sulfide mineral so that is we easy to understand that what will be the chemical composition okay so you must know that which type of category it has been which relates to which type of category means carbonate minerals or the sulfide minerals or the oxide minerals okay and if we talk about crystal habits so that is granular massive disseminated crystals and uh, pseudo cubic means they occur like cubic but actually they are not of cubic system okay their shape just like cubics of cubic form but actually in actual form they are not cubic if we talk about crystal system so that ranges that that is orthorhombic crystal system cleavage is imperfect on 111 plane okay imperfect but occurs on the 111 plane fracture is conchoidal fracture hardness is 3.5 to 3 3.25 luster is metallic luster streak is grayish black okay color is cu sorry color is copper red or bronze brown purple but the streak is grayish black okay so when the color and the streak of a particular mineral is not the same so they become the basis of the classification so they they become the basis of the identification in the field okay so on what basis they have been identified if you are unable to identify a particular mineral suppose copper red is the bornite if you are not able to identify color just go for the streak the streak will be there to help you that 
so this leak of shell boronite is gray black and specific gravity that is 4.9 to 5.3 and next one is malachite and azurite so as you can see the diagram that uh, left hand side is malachite and right hand side is the azurite malachite being blue and azurite is the mixture of blue and green these are the form of carbonate minerals okay formula being cu2 co3 oh whole twice and cu3 co cu3 co3 whole twice and oh whole twice so that is first one is the malachite and second one is the azurite so color is bright green dark green blackish green commonly banded in massive okay banded in massive masses green to yellowish green green in transmitted light and if we talk about the crystal habits so massive botryoidal okay talcitic talcitic or the crystals are acicular to tabular prismatic the crystal system is monoclinic prismatic cleavage is perfect on 21201 plane fair on 1010 plane okay fracture is subconchoidal to uneven hardness is 3.5 to 4 stick is light green specific gravity is 3.6 to 4 luster is adamantine to vitreous luster and that is silky in fibrous earthy in massive okay in the silky form it's fibrous and in earthy form it's a massive dull to earthy in massive form and the next one is magnetite so magnetite is the iron ore iron oxide the formula being the fe3o4 okay and it's part of spinel group of minerals magnetite is the most magnetic of all the naturally occurring minerals on the earth okay so this is also a important question that which mineral which ore mineral is the most magnetic so magnetite is the most magnetic mineral of all the naturally occurring minerals on the earth and what happens naturally the magnetized pieces of magnetite they are known as the lodestone so the stones which have their magnetic properties they are known as lodestones and they will attract small pieces of iron and this is how ancient people first noticed the properties of magnetism okay so in the ancient times there was a mineral known as lodestone so that lodestone has the property of attracting small pieces of iron so on that basis they have identified or they have uh, check it out that whether it's magnetic or not magnetic so that is the magnetism properties because of that magnetism properties that has the property of attracting small pieces of iron and small grains of magnetite occur in almost all igneous and metamorphic rock okay their amount or their quality or quantity they may vary but small grains of is magnetite they occur in almost all the igneous as well as the metamorphic rock sometimes they are in major form major amount or sometimes they are in the trace amount it's black or brownish black with a metallic luster so its luster is metallic and has a hardness of 5 to 6 and black streak okay and how it's formed so when it reacts ferrous hydroxide that reacts so that give rise to magnetite and hydrogen as well as water so three molecules of ferrous oxide they reacts and they give rise to fe3o4 that is magnetite you have to keep in mind the formula chemical formula of both the minerals magnetite as well as the hematite so magnetite is fe3o4 and hematite is fe2o3 okay so it's important to remember the chemical formula there is a small difference but you have to keep in mind the valency that in which valency state they are occurring so magnetite is the fe3o4 okay and next one is hematite that's also oxide mineral fe3 okay trihydrous fe3o4 sorry fe2o3 alpha fe2o3 and the color is metallic gray to dull bright red crystal habit is tabular 
to thick crystals they can be micaceous or the platy commonly in the uh, rosettes and the radiating fibrous reniform voitroidal or stalactitic uh, masses and columnar earthy granular as well as oolitic so these are the crystal habits in which, which type of habits they are occurring in the crystals or the in the field and if we talk about crystal system to so that that is the trigonal system cleavage is not present okay meso partings okay fracture that is uneven to subconchoidal hardness is 5.5 to 6.5 luster is metallic to uh, splendent and the streak A streak of uh, hematite is very important that is the bright red to dark red and if we talk about color so that is metallic gray to uh, as we can see in the figure that is the uh, gray some gray or the dull light gray okay but if we talk about streaks so that is bright red to dark red okay so you have to keep in mind the strike sorry streak as well as the color and if we talk about the general uh, information so hematite it's also spelled as hematite you can see the spelling spell how it's spelled so it's spelled as h e m a hematite as well as the h a e m a hematite okay and that's the mineral form of iron 3 oxides fe2o3 once one of several iron oxides and hematite crystallizes in the rhombohedral crystal system and has the same crystal structure as ilmenite okay and corundum so ilmenite and corundum has the same structure as the hematite and hematite and ilmenite forms a complete solute solution at temperature of above 950 degrees celsius okay so what is the significance that the ilmenite as well as the uh, hematite they form a complete solute solution at temperatures of above 950 degrees celsius okay and if we talk about next one is that is the limonite so limonite is also iron ore which cons consisting of the mixture of hydrated fe3 uh, iron 3 oxides or the hydroxides means the uh, hydrated oxide mineral of the iron ore okay in varying composition means iron 3 oxide hydroxide they can be oxide or as well as the hydroxide so general general formula is frequently written as feo oh dot nh2 means the number of molecules they may vary okay it's not fixed that how many molecules of air water will occur although this is not entirely accurate as the ratio of oxides to hydroxide that vary quite widely okay as we have discussed limonite limonite is one of the two principal iron ores one being the hematite and other being the limonite and has been mined for the production of iron since last 2050 years before christ years okay so that's very old mineral limonite and next one is goethite so it's an iron uh, oxyhydroxide mineral okay iron oxyhydroxide mineral goethite's hardness that range from 5.5 to 5.5 to 5.5 on the mohr scale of hardness and its specific gravity varies from 3 to 3.3 to 4.3 and the mineral forms prismatic needle like crystals but is more typically massive in the form okay so its formula is iron oxy uh, oxy hydroxide okay and its hardness on the mohr scale of hardness is 5 to 5.5 and if we talk about other properties so ferroxite okay ferroxite and lepido uh, lepido crusite are both polymorphs of the iron oxy hydroxide okay so these are two polymorphs of iron 
iron oxy hydroxide feooh okay although they have the small chemical formula sorry the same chemical formula as goethite but they each have different crystalline structure okay so they are polymorph polymorphs of the polymorph definition what is the definition of polymorph so polymorph are the minerals of same chemical composition but they are different crystalline structures their crystalline structures or the crystal form they vary okay making them distinct minerals goethite is found all over the planet usually occur in the form of concretions or the stalactitic form formations oolite form consisting of tiny rounded grains cemented together okay so what are oolites they are formed of consisting of a tiny rounded grains of cement together and rainy form which are the kidney shaped form or the boitroidal globular like uh, branches of grapes okay or the accumulations of the these defined forms means that can be rainy form that can be boitroidal or they can be the group they can be the uh, some variations of boitroidal form okay so that was our discussion uh, the remaining ore minerals we will discuss in the next video so it's quite important to identify or the uh, to know the physical or the chemical properties on the basis of which they have been identified in the field okay so the remaining ones we will discuss in the next video okay thank you